A long-awaited Jesse Smollett trial began today after nearly three years since he allegedly staged a hate crime in Chicago that made national headlines. WJN's Dana Revick is live at the 26th and California Courthouse with tonight's details. Dana. Well, it was a very long day here in court that dragged into the evening. Twelve jurors have now been selected with two alternates uh, for this trial. And then opening statements began this evening, hearing from both sides. The prosecution saying that testimony from key witnesses will prove that Jussie Smollett staged this hate crime uh, against him, while his attorney says that this was a real attack and that he is a real victim. A jury chosen in the Jesse Smollett trial. They will determine the fate of the former Empire actor charged with six counts of making false statements to police in connection with an alleged hate crime he reported to police in January 2019. The former Empire actor said he was attacked by two masked men who yelled racial and homophobic slurs and that he was in, quote, MAGA country, a reference to former President Donald Trump's campaign slogan. During opening statements, Dan Webb laid out a timeline where he said Smollett met with the men who carried out the attack, the Osendero brothers, telling them that he did not want to get seriously hurt, but for them to bruise him up a little bit and that he would pretend to fight back. He wanted them to put the rope around his neck like a noose so it looked like a hate crime. Webb says the evidence will show Smollett met with the brothers two days before the attack for a dry rehearsal, showing them the area where it would take place in Streeterville and paying them $100 cash to buy ski masks, rope, and other items, then handing them a $3,500 check. Smollett's attorney, Nenye Uche, said in court tonight, quote, This has been a tremendous rush to judgment by various police officials that has destroyed Jussie's life, destroyed his career, and has turned him into a pariah. After the attack, Smollett soon became a suspect and was charged with making a false report. Cook County State's Attorney Kim Fox later dropped charges, the city filing a federal lawsuit seeking to recoup the money spent in investigating the incident. A special prosecutor was appointed and a grand jury indicted Smollett in February 2020. After several COVID-related delays, the trial finally underway. The jury, which is evenly split between men and women, was dismissed at 6.45 tonight. They're expected to be back here at 9.15 tomorrow morning. This trial expected to last through the week. Live outside the Layton Criminal Courthouse, Dana Rebick, WGN News. Thank you, Dana. And stay with WGN for full coverage of the trial. You can also get updates on the go at WGNTV.com and through our free WGN mobile news app.